Welcome to another edition of Itching to Scratch with me, Ben Wagar. And welcome also to Ironwood Golf Course in sunny Hinkley, Ohio. Uh, this is just as a storm was passing through. Uh, actually, it was actually still there, as you can see. But about to be over. It only rained for about the first three holes and then a little bit on and off and then not at all in the back nine. So I've played Ironwood Golf Course more than any other golf course probably 70, 80 times. Although the last three years since I've been back playing golf, probably only played it five or six times a season. I'm playing from the tips today, about 6,400 yards. And number one hole here, uh, there is OB on the right. And even if you don't make it all the way over to the out of bounds, there's a pretty substantial tree uh, in the right fairway or in the right rough that makes it pretty hard to to get around that and get your shot up to the green. So I usually try to keep it up the left side. And I am really struggling getting my tee in that ground. Let him go. Ah! Well, not quite. Come on, buddy. All right. I teed it up extra high. That's probably why I had a hard time getting it in there. The last few rounds when I've been cold, my first tee shot I've just topped. And I'm worried about doing that here, so I teed it up a little bit high. I am cold. And um, I ended up really skying this one up because probably it was teed too high. Um, but it's okay. Like, like I said, I, I worked it left. I, I missed left, which is fine here. So all in all, not a bad tee shot, although I did. I ended up a little too far left. That tree was blocking me out. I was going to try to play a little uh, draw around that, but I chunked it. And with how wet the, the ground is, you chunk it, the ball's just not going anywhere. So I am left um, about 105 with a 54 degree wedge. And I just uh, see it bounce there on the right. And now, take it away, Ben. All right, there's my shot in on one. Here's my setup today. Um, it's going okay until it gets too windy. This umbrella's not the best. And it's inverted a few times, but I think the wind's died down. So, hope I make this butt. All right, I had this going right to left, and I thought it was going to be very slow due to the rain and moisture on the greens. And I zipped it right by. I think it was probably a good line, but just too hard. Went right by. Made the comeback here for an opening bogey. One over through one. Not ideal, but also not horrible. I've I've been two, three over after hole one, as we all have, so just got to get it pulled together. Let's go. Also, you will notice no shot tracer on this whole round. Um, I shot this in 4K. I didn't realize it's not really supported 4K for the shot tracer app, so um, just wanted to kind of see how it would look without the shot tracer anyway, so this is a good test of that. Number two, um, par three, downhill, playing from the tips. It's, it's a tough hole. Uh, this was 218 from the back, and I elected to hit a one-length five hybrid. The safe bet here is short, but I rarely do that. And so I almost always end up... Um, down to the right, it, there's a little valley down there, unless I yank one left, which is OB. But no, this one did go right into that valley, just kind of blocked it off. I'm pin high, but I have to go up a hill, and then once you land on the screen, the green slopes right to left and downhill quite a bit. I'm just trying to play a flop, kind of landing it, not flop, flop, but just a high shot trying to land it on the fringe. And I landed a little long, probably landed on the green. But as you'll see, it it's it's pretty 
pretty significant downhill so it ran through the green and I'm playing a one length hybrid right here just as a little bump on I do this a lot from the fringe um, with my hybrid it usually works out pretty well for me and this one was left to right I think I had a pretty good line on it and just didn't hit it hard enough so I got this left to try to save a bogey um, probably about eight feet little downhill little left to right A boo, yeah. Two over through two, um, which is not great. I'm an eight handicap, but I've played this course so many times that I'm usually three over or so on the front nine. So being two over through two, it's not awesome. Hole three is a short par four. Um, I took a three wood here off the tee. It is OB all along the right. This ironwood in general is not a very good, uh, it's pretty tough on slicers. So uh, be wary if you're a slicer and you play ironwood. So I have three wood here. I'm just trying to play it left by that cart path or just in the rough. And I put it, I put it right where I was aiming. You see I'm just off here in the rough, um, got less than 100, this is actually 67 yards, um, hitting my 54 degree wedge, little three quarter jobber. I hit a good one here. See it bounced just left of the flag. Got a good look at birdie here, probably 12 feet or so. Uh, left to right. And I just don't start this one high enough. Um, and I have to settle for, let's see here, hopefully a par. And this is a good place to freeze here and note that, although I did say I've played this 70 or 80 times, I still have a hard time reading these greens. Um, there's a lot of subtle breaks and even when it's not so subtle, I under or over read it a lot. So you will see me misread some short putts. On to hole four. Another shorty, um, big trouble right. There's a hill just past the lake. If you get, if you reach that on the right, you, you drop down 20 feet or so and then have no shot at the green. So I usually play this one well left. Sometimes I play this into the other fairway left. Um, but this one, I started pretty dead center of the fairway and just faded you know, two or three yards, just a few yards, just up the right fairway. So I'm left with 75 yards to the middle of the green, and this green is huge, and it slopes severely back to front. So I'm trying to get this to the back where the pin is. And I hit a decent chip or a decent pitch, but I did not get it as high as I wanted. Uh, you may hear me saying stay, stay, because it hit about 20 feet short of the hole and spun back about 10 feet. Ooh, jokey jokester. All right, here I am. This one I have going, I think I was reading it right to left, uphill. And you gotta give this one a whack. Which I do, but it didn't really move left. It might have started off a little right to left, but then it flattened out. And I clean up here for a par. So I am two over through four and about to take on the number one handicap hole, which is a beast. This is straight away par four. It's pretty long for a par four. There's water on the left if you really bomb one. And um, if you even if you don't bomb one and you end up in the left fairway, you don't really have a shot at the green unless you can really hook one around the trees. 
So I usually try to play this one out to the right. And I did play it out to the right, and you see I just, it was kind of an unintentional stinger. I didn't mean to, but that thing stayed low. Thing didn't get five feet off the ground. Probably lost some distance there, but I'm, I'll take this tee shot, you know, nine out of 10 times on this hole, I'm happy with that. You can just make out the flag just to the left of the tree, 184 yards up. This is a six iron that I just leak right a little. Start actually just started right and stayed right, kind of blocked it out that way. But I am pin high, kind of the same chip I had on number two, where you got to go up a hill and then back downhill. This one I am trying to kind of flop up. I didn't really open the face, but I'm trying to kind of flip through. And we are up slope, so I'm trying to hit this one pretty high. And I do. And I hit it, I land it right where I need to but it really kicked forward even out of the fringe and ran by the hole. So this is a good example of struggling to read this green. Um, when I was walking up, I thought I had it going um, right to left, but then when I stood over it, it looked like left to right. So I'm aiming left here and it does move right, but then right there, halfway through it, it did turn back to the left. So it's one of those behind the hole, it looked like one thing and then standing on the hole, it looked like the other and I should have just probably went straight at it and I didn't hit it hard enough anyway, so clean this up for a bogey, and bogey's not a bad score on that hole. But I do drop one, three over, through five, onto a par three, which is straight uphill and about as tight as you're going to see on any course. It is just a shoot straight through there. And if you miss right, you're in jail, man. There, it drops off on the other side of the cart path to this little valley, and you can't really get through because of, of the trees. So a miss left is better, but I was just kind of going right at it, and I played it up the right side of the, uh, the green, and it stayed pretty straight. So I've got this for a birdie. Uh, what do we think here? About 30 feet, maybe? Maybe 20, 20, 20 to 30 feet. And was moving a little left. I had it right in the heart of the cup and just ran out of steam. So I got a little tap in par. But again, that's I'll take par on that hole. I've been down in that valley far too many times to turn my nose out of a par. Ooh, lefty. Look at him. All right, so I'm still three over. And uh, this is the this is a three hole stretch you can score par five par four par five and this one is long par five but it's and it's straight uphill but um here let's listen to this guy into the wind this time i am gonna try to play a little a little bit of a bullet here a little stinga yeah they call that the stinga so wise let's see what he does Oof. So I don't know if I just, you know, when I try to play a stinger, I'm just trying to get onto my left side early. Um, I'm keeping that kind of wrist angle through a little later, and I just overdid it. But I play a good three wood. Again, this is uphill, so this is normally par fives. So I'm okay with flubbing one off the tee because I can get home pretty easily, but now I'm left uh, 160 uphill. I take a seven iron here. And I hit a really good shot. I thought it was short. But I end up pretty good look at birdie after a pretty horrible tee shot, so. Make sure you line it up there good, Ben. Take your time. It's for bird. Not to be. Good speed. All right, par. Three over, through seven. On to eight, which is long par four, but it is wide open. I mean, there's, there's no trouble, really.
if you hit it left you can deal with a little bit of trees and way right is out of bounds but that's like you miss right you're really putting a slicer on her so i just kind of un unleashed on this one up the right hand side just into the rough and i've got 148 to the middle so I think I'm hitting a nine iron and it hits the front of the green you might hear me yelling at it but it spins off the green this one slopes back to front again so yeah just hit hit a few paces on and just spun off that's some impeccable pitch mark repair I gotta say very nice so i am on the fringe technically not a putt and i'm going uphill right to left i think it's right to left or maybe that's what i thought then too because i play it right and it never it, it never makes it back left and it's short again i'm having a hard time with pace so I just got four feet left for my par. All right, get out of the way. Let's see it drop. Oh. Oh. Four feet left or short. And that is, I mean, it's not a three putt because it was off, but for all intents and purposes, that's a three putt. That one hurt. Uh, bogeyed that. It should not have been bogey after my tee shot, but what are you going to do? All right, number nine, uh, short par five as par fives go, but the first 300 yards is straight uphill. Uh, OB on the right, that all those trees there is OB. And I yank her, and I yank it left, and it hooks left. So I actually miss further left than the, the driveway there that separates eight and nine, and I have no shot at the green, so I'm just trying to punch underneath some limbs and stuff get back into the fairway and it oof, oh, get out of there. kicks off that hill up into that tree but luckily hey <laughs> luckily made it past mugging for the camera um so i have 128 to the middle and i take a pitching wedge here i was just trying to nice easy smooth pitching wedge but i went i pulled it through yanked it left and um ended up long left on top of the little hill there so i'm at a slight down slope and i'm trying to make this just onto the fringe it's going to go downhill left to right and i just carry it oof 10 feet too far at least so i'm well past the hole and uh have a right to left maybe 14 feet And just hit it through the break. So now I have five or six, five feet left to make bogey, left to righter. Ooh, and I sneak her in. So again, I sh I sh this front nine, I think I usually go about three over. So five over with a couple, you know, bad putt there on eight and a couple other mistakes. No huge mistakes, no doubles, but no birdies either. And I had I had some opportunities for birdie, so but not to be. So out in 41, um, we'll see how I do on the, on the back nine when I post the next video here in a few days.